My Hero Academia Season 2, Episode 35, Yawarozu, Rising. What is going on, party people? Fumincho here, back at it once again with another My Hero Academia review. Today we're talking about Episode 35. We are now just three episodes away, I believe three episodes away from this season coming to an end and I gotta admit it is quite sad it has been a long fun road covering this series indeed and I've enjoyed all of it so it's it, it's gonna, I'm gonna, yeah it's gonna be a little sad to see it go I'm not gonna lie um you're gonna have to forgive me for this weird setting I don't know what's going on here this is like a dining room there's like pears and apples on the wall here it's really echoey um, the, the window's open, you're gonna hear New York City out there, and my voice is really messed up. I'm feeling very much under the weather. So, yeah, everything is wrong right now. Let's talk about My Hero Academia, that's a good idea. Um, this was a really good episode, I really enjoyed it. I, I loved how quick and concise it was, the pacing, I believe, was perfect. Um, and I just like how action-packed it was. I mean, immediately you were straight in this episode when you were seeing Tokoyami and Suyu take down or try to take down ectoplasm which ectoplasm was a really cool teacher i remember mentioning i believe i mentioned last week yeah you're gonna hear that sorry i remember mentioning last week that i don't ever remember seeing ectoplasm in any of the previous like there's always those you know shots of the teachers and stuff like they've done stuff like that like oh the teachers at usj or whatever at, at you know the hero academy and it'll show like a pan shot of like all the teachers i, I don't remember ever seeing him so I, I, when i first saw him i was like what who is this guy he looks awesome and, and i really like his quirk i think it's really cool um and i like how tokoyami uh, or Tokoyama, I can't remember if it's Tokoyama and Tokoyami. I love how they, how him and Suyu came up with this, with the strategy to defeat him. I thought that was really cool. Very, just kind of like make haste type of plan, but it worked out quite quite nice for them. Um, I thought that pairing was really well. I love how in the beginning we see Suyu kind of throw Tokoyama up into the air with her tongue. Like that was really really cool. That animation was nice. Good job, Bones there. Um, I love those those panning shots of action. Like that is just super super cool. Um, there was there was some there was some good animation in this episode for sure. And then we jump into this kind of quick scene between Ojiro, uh, Ida, and this weird like tractor dude. I don't even know who this. What is his quirk? Like is he literally just a tractor? Like I I, I don't know. I don't. I, that was kind of stupid to me. I don't really like him. Not, it just bleh. Like I, I don't really care about you at all. So I'm glad that Ojiro and Ida won that. Um, it was kind of that was kind of a weird pairing because they just breezed by that challenge. There was no challenge there whatsoever. They easily got through that. I, I don't know if that we like jumped into that that fight between them like hours in or something. But to us, it only took them maybe like five minutes to figure out. A plan and and execute it pretty much perfectly so I'm not sure um, and then we jump into the meat of this episode which is between um, Momo Todoroki and Aizawa Eraserhead um, this is this is where the episode got a little interesting for me because they were trying to do something I, I, I didn't really feel the emotional connection to Momo the way I should have felt um, she was getting very emotional in this episode, which is something that we've never really seen. And that, that's kind of one of the flaws of having so many characters, that it's hard to focus on the emotions of one, or how it's hard to bring those emotions up without it feeling a little, like, huh? Like, how come we've never known about that? That's like, uh, like, I don't know, it just felt a little, uh, I don't know, like, it, it just, it's hard to explain, like, it just didn't feel like I really cared. Um, and I didn't really understand why, like, I don't know if she just felt like dead weight, or, or, like, I never knew that she had some kind of rivalry with Todoroki, or, like, she felt like, like, Todoroki was, like, this upperclassman that was, like, really, really powerful, I mean, everyone thinks that, but I never noticed that she was bothered by that, like, it was just kind of weird, like, I, I appreciated the approach that they did, I, I like that they're giving her characters something to do and something to feel, like that's really cool. It's just, I don't know, it, maybe it's just me, I'm a heartless person, so I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, but the fights that was happening here, how they were trying to run away at first, how Todoroki ends up getting caught, how 
first things first, Aizawa is just a masterclass. I love Aizawa as the as just like a teacher and as a character in this series. I think that he's like the Kakashi kind. Of, he reminds me of Kakashi a lot from Naruto. So I, I don't know. I, I, I like his character a lot. I thought that, I thought he was, I thought he did a good job here. I like how he like did he go easy on them? Like I don't know. Like I thought that was cool. I like how he captured uh, Todoroki above and threw the the call traps down. That was really cool. And I like how eventually Todoroki's like, hey, like. Utilize your plan, Momo. Like, I never asked you, like, what your plan is. And I like how she had, like, flash grenades inside of the Russian dolls, too. Like, that, that, that's really cool. Um, but again, like, I, I just, I wasn't feeling the emotion there. I wasn't feeling, like, I don't know. Like, it just didn't connect with me. It didn't really connect with me. I care about her character. I like her character. I like her quirk. But just bringing this up, springing this up all of a sudden, just felt a little forced to me. Again, I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm sure if I watch this episode again, I, I'll think differently. But that's just kind of kind of how I felt. I don't know. It feels weird criticizing this series. I don't ever criticize it. I don't really ever have problems with this series. So whenever I do, I have I feel like I have to really justify my reason why I'm crit criticizing it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, the action happening here was really, really cool. I, I liked... How, avenge how they took him out. I love... I, I don't know, like, that was that was cool to me. I love the scene where she misses, um, like, the, the drawstring or whatever for the catapult. I love how she misses it, and there's kind of, like, this freezing moment where Aizawa backs up. That was really well done. I love how, eventually, you know, it flies forward. I, did Aizawa go easy on them? I don't know. I don't think this is really about teachers going full, you know, heartedly, you know, trying to kill these kids. Like, that's not what their goal is. They're really just trying to test their abilities and, and kind of creating strategies and opening uh, gates that, that, that they have to eventually exploit. Like, that's what this is really about, is them op giving them openings and seeing if they're able to exploit them or not. I don't think, again, this is about, like, them going full-heartedly challenging them in a fight, because I think Aizawa would have won a long time ago by... And, and, you know, something else to mention, too, and I didn't even realize this, is how much damage Aizawa has taken from that fight with Nomu and from that fight with Shigarashi back at USJ. I don't think that they've ever mentioned that before, but he has definitely taken some damage. I mean, he can only... Um, he, can't, he can't, like, keep the quirk or whatever. He can't take away the quirk. Um, that long anymore, or longer than he used to be able to. So that's really interesting. I, I, I like how he has taken damage by that. And that's something else that I really enjoy about the series is how the series is ev it, it's there's some evolution happening here. Um, I, I like how there's 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 evolving happening between the characters. I like how Deku has this scar on his hand. I like how the damage is there. Whenever a character is hurt, you feel that too. Like you feel that like oh like. That's not just gonna heal next episode. That's gonna matter later on. Same thing with with All Might, and same thing with, um, of course, Ida and Todoroki as well. You know, the emotional damage there, physical damage. I really like how that sticks with them. So yeah, seeing Aizawa keep that damage was really really cool. Anyway, all in all, I really enjoyed this episode. Something else to mention too: there is an after credit scene. Um, I think a lot of Ochako. And Deku shippers would really enjoy that scene. So if you haven't seen the end credit scene, you should probably go see it. It's really cool. Um, I don't know if that's a serious thing. Like, is that going to be a plot point in this series? Or if that's just going to be like, oh, I don't know. Deku no Chico, is it going to happen? Like, I, I don't know if it's something like that. Or if it's if it's actually going to be, like, a plot point. I would love it to be a plot, plot point. I love romance and shonen together. It hardly ever happens, but when it does, it feels, it's refreshing. So I would love to see something like that done. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts. What do you think of Ochoko and Deku together? I don't even know. What did you think of this week's episode? I hope you enjoyed it. Did you like the animation? Did you like the pairings between the characters? Next week looks really exciting. It looks like we're getting some more montages, which I'm, you know, I love. I love those montages. Um, one of the many flaws of having such a large cast is you kind of have to have montages. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below. Give me your thoughts. I'd really like to read through them. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. As always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Plus Ultra.